Hi and welcome back to the second part of the uh, HSQ CNMR spectroscopy tutorial. In this particular tutorial we're going to have a look at the tripeptide that was used in the NOSI uh, NMR spectroscopy tutorial. So I find this, uh, this is a more realistic example uh, if you're working in a laboratory. So if you have a look at the HSQC spectrum of the tripeptide it looks something like this. And if you remember from last time uh, we had a look at the depth edited HSQC NMR spectrum which looks like this. So although it's identical in most respects to the HSQC, the depth edited HSQC now has phase associated with it. So if you look on the spectrum you see some blue peaks in this case indicating the CH2s and the CH3s and CHs are now represented as having red peaks. As mentioned in the previous tutorial that's completely arbitrary so entail up to you what colours you choose uh, to represent the positive and negative peaks. So one thing that really is important for interpreting any 2D spectrum is to make sure that it's, it's well referenced. So the 2D spectrum needs to be uh, referenced with the projected 1D spectra at the top. So what I've done here, I've just clicked and dragged it, but in your NMR uh, package, your software package, you'll be able to um, type in a command, uh, for example, SR or something like that for source reference, and you'll be able to then uh, set the reference according to the chemical shift difference in your 1D spectra. Once that is sorted, you'll then be able to assign it correctly, so you, all your carbons will be aligned and all your proton signals will be aligned as well. So it's, it's a two-dimensional reference and that needs to be set initially, that's very important. So having correctly referenced your 2D spectrum with with respect to your projected spectra at the top, the 1D spectra, it's then a, a simple case of reading off either vertically or horizontally. In this case, we'll do it horizontally first. You read a, a non-carbon uh, chemical shift, find the peak in the 2D spectrum, then read directly upwards. So we'll read vertically at 90 degrees to that reference peak and find the proton signal. And we do that for every single peak uh, in the 2D spectrum. So if I quickly speed up the video here you can see how my mind works. I'll read across the carbon which I've assigned and then once I've got all the horizontal lines in I'll then find the vertical corresponding peak in the proton spectrum. And I might do this in reverse. I might, I might already know the proton chemical shifts and then assign the carbons as associated with those protons in a similar manner. So the 2D spectrum gives you that extra resolution that's needed uh, when you've got crowded peaks in the 1D spectra and the depth editor the HSQC actually gives you even more information if you will to make it easier to interpret the spectra. Now I've not gone into much detail interpreting this particular HSQC NMR spectrum because I thought I'd put the spectrum up on Epistemi on so you could have a go yourself. If you want to have a go and send your comments or your interpretation back to me I can have a look at it and, and pass on my comments back to you. Uh, so you can do that by just uh, logging on to Epistemio and downloading the worksheets that are always available with these, these videos. So that's it for now. Bye for now.